Now, I know what you're wondering. Did I really spend a Saturday watching the very first Fifty Shades in order to watch the second one without objectivity? And then did I watch the second one alone on a Saturday morning while my dog was being loud, so I was trying to tell her to keep it down so I could pay attention to this movie? And do I now look back and somewhat hate myself for this? All three of those, yes. I'm not very good at this. I've never wanted to try again. Fifty Shades of Darker follows the story of billionaire Christian Grey and his attempts to win back the slightly average-looking Anastasia Steele after the events of the first film where he did spanks and butt stuff to her and she didn't like it. But he's set on his quest for an average, I think mayo is spicy, not tonight honey I have a headache, and let's just do a missionary type of life. This sequel follows the same type of outline where he does or says something creepy, she gets upset, he says something like, I'm vulnerable, I need you, don't leave, and then she doesn't leave. With Dakota Johnson fully replacing Kristen Stewart as the most painful actress to watch show emotion, the two do have a decent amount of on-screen chemistry. Gray's character does pull out the young billionaire still seemingly finding himself. But watching this film, I always wonder why it shouldn't just be a straight-to-network movie. But then I looked up the numbers, and combined, the two movies have made $700 million worldwide against a budget of only 95. So you can kind of figure out why they keep cranking these suckers out. Going into this movie, I understood it wasn't my type of flick, and in some of the scenes, you could tell they were supposed to be played out longer and given a lot more detail, presumably in the book. And the fact that I was never too worried about any of the danger they tried to present during the climax. Climax? Get it? Because <laughs> it's, a, it's, a it's a movie about sex. So never feeling anyone was any real danger, I still respect what it set out to do. I feel it improved over the first one, and overall I don't hate this film. Still, nothing to rush out and see, but if you're stuck watching this with your significant other, there are way worse films out there you can see. That's why I'm giving a 6 out of 10 for the film with a title I could use to describe myself after a full day at the beach. Those are my thoughts on Fifty Shades Darker, and uh, as always, if you felt differently about it, go ahead and comment down below, leave a like, show some support, and as always, I will see you in the next video.